Hey guys! So really exciting news this morning. There's actually a new trailer for a The World Ends With You sequel. Now I'm really excited because I played the original one on the 3DS and the 3DS was really cool because they made um, these, it was dual screen and they you battled by using like these pogs. And when I say pogs, they're like round button icons that you press and do battles. So I wonder how they're gonna implement this on the Switch. But anyways, I am here on the official Square Index website, and we're gonna go ahead and watch the trailer. And then um, I'll bring it down to you. So, all right. The game has begun anew. It looks like you can move around in 3D this time. I know in the 3DS one it was 2D. Is it the future? Is it the alternate world? Oh, his name is Ringo. Nice. Fret. Ringo and Fret. Music inspired. Oh, it looks like you can play as different characters because it looks like she's the main one there. Of course, you gotta have a guy in a hoodie to be all radical. You don't get his name though. Ooh, okay. So just like in the first one, you're in the world, but you're people can't see you, but you can see other people's thoughts. And of course, cell phone was kind of a big thing for the first World Ends With You. Oh, they have the pins, so they are returning. Oh, and you see the pins there in the lower bottom? So maybe you still, even though you have 3D movement this time, you can still hit the individual pens to do your special moves. I do like the way that they kept the um, comic strips animation. I think that's one of the cool things with the big black borders and the comic thing. Game Master. Yeah, so... He asked the question if he's dead, and that's because, yeah, they're supposed to be dead at this point. Some of these boss fights look really great. Oh, this must be a cutscene, because it's more animated than just the 2D cutout. So, I wonder why it's called Neo. Um, this dude's name is Ringo. So, summer, this 2021, that's really cool that we got the announcement early. Um... Let's actually go back and take a look at some of these. I'll freeze frame. So here, music is a big part of The World Ends With You. And you see Tower Records, No Music, No Life. So Tower Records, I think that's a real record company. No Music, No Life, that is true. So basically, um, one of the cool aspects about The World Ends With You is kind of that rock music you hear in the background. And as you go through the trailer there, you get to, you get to hear some of it. Same vision I had yesterday. So, it he could have had a vision and then he died? And he's in this world, so he's finding them? But look, the one of the other guys is right behind him. So I wonder if like your side characters are with you in the battle too. So we find out here his name is Rindo. They're probably, they might change that for US, I don't know. I think they should keep it though. So it says Ringo Hunch naturally and then you, you don't really get to see the rest. Naturally skilled but but tends to ST tend to stall or tend to steal. So we have fret here. So we, some, some, something college, something, neither her distance from. So I think she's like a dis keep away character. And you can see that because when in her skill set, she's throwing stuff. So she's throwing stuff. Oh, her name is Nagi, okay. And then let's, let's slow this down. Okay, wonderful number or ran the game blank and circulation. 
So they're giving hints here in this trailer. Oh, there he goes. His name is Mina Mimoto. So these are very Japanese names. I wonder if they're going to localize them. So here, this is kind of what you see. So when the first world ends with you, when you run through the crowd, you get to see their thoughts. And um, it's not really concrete thoughts. They're like abstract thoughts. Okay. Oh, so let's let's take a look at some of these stores here because this is another thing with the world ends with you. It's very high fashion. They, they kind of keep you fashionable. So we have visual effects. <laughs> really pointing that out there that the game has the upgrade. We have some coffee store. You have all of these stores where the kanji or katakana would be, except they're just boxes because you can't really see them. You can read this one. And as he runs down here, watch a burger. This is a rice bowl place because it's a donia. There's some vending machines very popular in Japan. So you have you get your first mysterious character. And I think it's the same girl. So there she is, right, with the red belt. And she's supposed to be mis mysterious, right? But then they show her exactly in the next clip. So you have uh, her here. And she's in charge of the Reaper networking service. So I, she, she looks like the crest giver here, RNS. Oh, it is already localized. So these are in English. I just noticed that <laughs> these are in English, meaning that um, most likely they're going to keep the Japanese names, which I really like. So this guy looks like he's going to beat you up, but he's probably on your side. So here she is. There's, this character is explaining kind of the pin system that I kind of talked to you guys about. Where you beat enemies and you kind of get the pins. And then by merging or using different pens, you get different effects. Kind of like Persona. So there's each of their battles tactics and they show you a little more. And some of the enemies here get really, really big. You shall not. So there's this mysterious character. Either she's a death personification or what. So this guy's introduced as a game master. But I wonder if he's like in charge of kind of their death initiation here. So his name is Shiba. Is this a dream? So I think the, the first game actually went through something like that where the guy's like, is this real? Is this not real? Are we part of something? Or are we not? And basically, as I understand it, they're kind of dead and they're kind of figuring out what to do with their lives. We'll change their fate. So I wonder if this one, he actually gets revived. Well, very excited, guys. Um, last thing I want to point out is they say coming to Switch summer of 2020. Also coming in PS4, surprisingly not PS5, but definitely a Switch is where it's at. So I'm going to be checking it out when the game comes out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction and analysis, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cool.